Brilliant. Well, hi, Leslie. Thank you so much for joining me today for this student spotlight interview. So the first thing I kind of like to know is, you know, a little bit about you. So who are you? Where are you from? What do you study? Um, so yeah, far away. Uh, hi, Natalie. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Well, um, I'm Leslie, <laughs> as you know, and I'm from the beautiful island of Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica, to be exact. And um, I have two children, a teenager and a little one. So two age, you know, big age gap. And um, I live in London. I work in the public sector and I've worked in the public sector for nearly all my life. And, um, and I, I'm also studying um, international business management with, um, you know, Arrow, um, Angela Ruskin, and um, it's challenging but I'm um, thoroughly enjoying it. Good, yeah. good. So you kind of, you know, you, you were our student in Spotlight this month. So, and you know, you're obviously you're a student at ARU London. So tell me a little bit about why you wanted to come to university. I, I want, I've always wanted to go to university, but um, this was the, the most convenient time for me. As you know, life happens, um, you know, work, children, so it didn't have much to, well, for my personal circumstance, I didn't have much time to, you know, to attend university at the time. And I see that now is the best time for me. Um, you know, I have the time to give, I'm working part-time. My, my children are at the age where they have a little bit more responsibility. So, you know, I can focus more on my studies. And I've, all, I've always worked in, you know, administration, management, reception, customer services field. And I've got the years of experience. So I thought, why not have the, the, the degree behind it? You know, as obviously that will help me to propel to higher heights in the, in the, in the said field. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a huge part of so many students' stories at, at ARU London is, you know, finding the right time to come to university because it's a commitment, you know, not just financially, but in your time, time as well. You spoke a little bit about your children and the fact that you're a mum. And, you know, there's a lot of students at ARU London that are, <laughs> that are you know, students that are parents, are uh, carers and mature students. Kind of, what, what is it that you think, you know, has, has being a mum inspired you and has, has being a mum kind of really helped you along your journey in becoming who you are? Um, you know, first of all, um doing the um pursuing um the degree not only for myself but also for my children as you know my children look up to me and you know i just do it so that they can have a positive character in their life to emulate and to you know strive for positivity so when when my children see me working being independent and also pursuing a degree at my at the stage in my life um, you know, I'm um, hoping that it will encourage them to and motivate them to want to go down, you know, similar path as myself. Um, as a parent, you know, it's 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 quite challenging, especially as a, as a single parent. So, you know, you must kind of understand how you know the challenges that come with studying, pursuing a degree, um, you know, looking after your children, looking after a family, and working and even though the challenge bring a lot of stress, <laughs> I do enjoy. I do enjoy the challenge because the challenge in itself pushes me to, you know, and motivates me to want, you know, to want to do better. And when I look around me and see a lot of um, what ifs and I don't want to say failure, but kind of you know negatives in other people's lives, it it, kind of, it pushes me to to want more. And you know, those are the main reasons why. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pursuing the, um, the degree. Yeah, and and you know, it sounds like you kind of want to set a great example for your kids and be an inspiration to them, which Absolutely. is something that you know any mother would want for their for their kids. So, kind of looking back on your life, who has inspired you to kind of become the woman that you are today? My my most influential. Um, the most inf influential individual in my life is my mother. Um, she 
has been a single mom as well. And I, you know, I've observed her, observed how she's managed to maneuver through the struggles that she's been through to, to help me to get a better life, um, you know, and to better myself. So she is my main, you know, inspiration. And also um, I'm inspired by Maya Angelou, the famous um, black poet. And, um, you know, and other, my other forefathers or predecessors who has, um, you know, done a lot of um, phenomenal work, you know, so that we can get, you know, black people like myself can get a better life. And um, yeah, and, and those are my motivators. But as I mentioned, my through my, my true inspiration and, you know, the person who's really inspired me is my mother. Yeah, and I think that kind of, you know, is so telling and so true to what you, what you're saying about, you know, how you want to be for your kids, because yes. you know, your mum's inspired you so much that you want to do the same for your kids and show them that, you know, glass ceilings can be broken and that, you know, exactly. no matter what's come before, there there's a future and they can kind of build from that and 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 Absolutely. use it as an example and inspiration. Yeah, it's from family and obviously the big part that it plays in your life what are your passions you know what do you like to do in your free time well <laughs> you can call me um i'm kind of a recluse <laughs> <laughs> i like i like i don't know if, if it has to do with being um an only child i enjoy my own company it might sound selfish but it's the truth um in my spare time I, first of all i love spending time with my family close family because family is first and foremost for me and i like listening to all this I'm a bit of an old soul um, and I enjoy dancing I'm always in the kitchen cooking while dancing and singing you know that's my you know little simple things in life that's what you know make make me happy um, I enjoy reading and researching and listening to TED talks and you know and obviously recently I, I do enjoy studying I don't I don't really enjoy assignments as such <laughs> mm. to hear my hair out but um I do enjoy studying and learning new things um at the university as well so yes so that's basically me <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, you know there's there's so many different sides to people and I think that's you know hobbies and passions you know really I think play a part in especially in you know what we're living through now is is an escape yes. for people you know being able to yeah. to differentiate between that work and and, and chill time or studying yeah. and and relaxing um mm -hmm. which is something I think that I've really had to master myself is be like okay I need to take <laughs> some time out you know and, and really, yeah. really relax so mm -hmm. you know as we as we head towards Christmas and you know the the kind of circumstances we find ourselves in what what is one thing that you think that ARU London students should remember at this time, you know, with it being with it being slightly different to maybe what Christmas looks like and maybe not being able to go home and see family or or travel particularly anywhere. Where what what do you yeah, what do you think is something that you would want ARU London students to remember at this time? Um, you know, I, I just think, you know, with the pandemic and all the happenings that's been happening for 2020, um, I think you know, students or, you know, I think students are more motivated now to be closer to family and, um, you know, and especially in the classrooms to be more close-knit, more sociable with a bit of empathy towards each other because this is a difficult time now for everyone and people are going through a lot of things, you know, that another person might not be aware of. So I think it's time where the, the, the community, and I'm sure they're doing it now, the community come together and be more empathetic with each other, support each other in studies where we have the WhatsApp, um, you know, social groups and that. It's a good way to, you know, collaborate and look out for each other with academics and also social things. So, yeah, I think the university um, would, should focus more obviously on academics but on the social aspect because a lot of people are going through it you know and checking with the welfare of the students as well and student to student yeah I think I think you know a time like this is really highlighted mental health is so important 
and that yes. you, know, you know welfare is is something high on students agendas that they they care about themselves they care about other people and it's, it's been a a real eye-opener eye I think for a lot of people to, to realize you know health is wealth actually exactly. you, know, exactly. you know being able to be healthy and and, and live your life is is a huge um is a huge thing and 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 materialistic stuff just falls away actually yeah yeah um my last question for you uh leslie is in the middle of lockdown kind of what have you been doing to keep yourself entertained i know you've been you said you you know you have kids you've been right you've been reading studying <laughs> listening to music <laughs> dancing is there anything in particular like maybe you've watched on netflix or you've read a really good book that you'd recommend for our students to go and check out? Well, I find that, um, yes, I'm watching Netflix more now. And to be <laughs> honest, before <laughs> pre-pandemic, I Netflix wasn't really my, you know, my thing. But, you know, I see that the Netflix has brought me and the kids together, we, you know, pop out the popcorn and, you know, taking a movie here and there. And um, to be honest, nothing... Um, extraordinarily different from what I've been doing before because as I mentioned um, I'm a self I'm kind of a recluse so what what I'm doing in the house is what I've been doing before to be honest and um, the only the main difference is that I've you know we've spent me and the family we're spending more close-knit time together where I'm more focusing and listening to the children you know we have more you know deeper talks and watch, you know, news briefs and that together. So those are the main differences. And um, and to be honest, I find more time to focus more on my studies because now that I'm working from home and, you know, we're doing the uni online, I have more time at home now to focus on my, you know, on my academia. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Leslie, it's been lovely chatting to you and getting to know a little Thank bit you. about you and, and, and who you are as a person. Thank you. I hope that all the students that watch this kind of warm to you as much as I have. Um, so I, so if anybody else is watching this and they would like to be the next student in the spotlight, please do get in contact with me. Um, I'm Matt Hopkirk. I'm the coordinator at ARU London Students Union. Um, and my email is m.hopkirk at anglistudents.com. So thanks so much, Leslie. Thanks for having me. Thank you.